from the idea of not making the Pro Bowl and not getting sort of the, the, the sort of the respect you wanted? Is that a yeah. way of using it as a mechanism to move on from it, or just how did you sort of take in one day? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, we all have goals coming into the season. Um, we feel like we don't meet those goals. It's natural to, you know, to feel down about it. Um, but I think the next day you kind of move on, move forward, especially once you realize, you know, it's, it's bigger things to play for. Um, it's a lot more success, you know, that you can have uh, other than that. So uh, that was kind of like my perspective. Uh, I'm past it. How do you feel like this season do you feel like this has been your best season? Or how do you feel like ranks among your best seasons? I don't know, man. I remember I was young, you know, before my injuries, and, you know, I just felt so athletic and good, and I was faster than everybody. And, you know, I've, I've grown, and I'm in my seventh year now, and to me it's, it's bigger than, like, me. You know, like, it's about me obviously playing well, but, um, you know, getting other people around me to play well. And um, so that's where I'm at in my career. Um, yeah. Even if maybe you're not as athletic maybe as you were early in your career, you feel it's been a good trade off though? The experience you have has made you a better player? Yeah, without a doubt. Um and I've had some I have had some really good coaches. Um but I'd probably say <coughs> Coach Merritt, um, you know, just from fundamentally how he teaches, um, I, I think that has helped me out a lot. Um, you know, I feel like I'm I'm seeing the game so much slower uh than I have, you know, in the past for sure. I hear the Chiefs wires occasionally now. One thing that you said recently is just too smart, and you know, it's something you've done on social media and the film study and whatnot. Do you feel like in this stretch you've been just been especially locked in, like you're almost like around a heater type deal? Yeah, well, definitely motivated, um, definitely encouraged, um, and that was kind of the goal for us, you know, coming into the season um, was to kind of get everything going in a, in a positive direction. I uh, feel like right now, not only me, but feel like you know most of the guys on the defense. We, we're playing pretty confident. We understand what we have to do, and then you know we're putting a lot of time in, you know, outside of just the normal X's and O's. Um, and I think all that is kind of helping us play faster, play smarter, and really trusting, you know, the, the calls. This really feels like your room. What does Terrell now bring to that, in your opinion? Veteran leadership for sure. Uh, I'd probably say championship swagger too. Um, you know, I feel like he's a guy that's played in this league a long time, had a, has great success, um, and he can still get it done. So I have a lot of friends on the Arizona team, um, so they, they spoke highly of him. And um, so, I mean, obviously we're looking forward to him coming in and really, really helping us out. How does that championship swagger, as you say, how does that help the team? Well, it's, it's just committing to the process. Obviously, it's, you know, you, you don't get stuck on, you know, championship, but you know, I, I think in order to get to, to that point, it's a certain level of confidence you have to have, a um, certain level of preparation, and then you have to feel good about yourself, um, you know, when you step on that field. And, um, you know, like I said, I feel like lately, you know, we've been feeling really good, you know, when we, when we step on the field defensively. But X, you said spending time besides those X, just the X's and O's. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just guys, you know, Taking the time outside of the building, um, taking the time, you know, outside of meeting rooms, um, you know, getting together with somebody um, on a particular coverage, on a particular call that they may be working together. And um, so, um, you know, it takes great effort to do that, um, and, and you have to be committed to the process, and uh, I feel like we've been doing that. Tyron, have players from last season who are on this defense talk to you about maybe the difference between then and now as far as that outside of you know the facilities preparation and different things like that not really um i would probably say most of those guys don't don't really speak about you know last year um uh, uh i think ultimately um you know we knew um that you know we would have to get close um you know i played on different teams and felt like every good defense i've played on most of those guys were pretty tight and um so uh i'm glad that we're we're finally you know at that point Tyron, i remember you mentioned how being close to the ball or being at the line of scrimmage made you feel like you would have a bigger impact. We've seen that really lately in the last month or so. Just what has allowed you to be successful when you're close to the line of scrimmage or when you're blitzing? And, and was it something that you've, they've allowed you to sort of unlock when they give you those opportunities? Yeah. Um you know, obviously, I feel like, you know, with injuries or, you know, I feel like my, my position can change um, really any moment. You know, it can change in the middle of a football game. Um, I think for me, it's, you know, I feel comfortable there, you know. Um, 
And not saying I don't feel comfortable when I'm playing deep. Mm -hmm. It's just I feel like, you know, the things that I do well, you know, uh, I'm, pre I'm usually close to the ball. So um, and, and then it gives qu quarter quarterbacks have to think. They don't know if I'm blitzing. They don't know what I'm doing. So, um, you know, we've been having some success, you know, uh, just in that regard. Related to that, Spags mentioned about the fact that, you know, if you're playing, you know, maybe you're playing in the slot, that means, that means Kendall drops back. And that sometimes those calls are coming on the field. It's you guys deciding that alignment and everything. How has that ability kind of evolved throughout the season that you have that flexibility to make those decisions on the field? Yeah, um, well, you know, like I mentioned, um, you know, guys are really studying. Um, guys are really putting the time in. And I think any time coach, you know, has a different nugget or maybe he wants to move a certain guy, um, I think everybody is prepared for the most part. Um, and then, like I mentioned a few weeks ago, uh, you know, if you have, you know, five or six DBs that can kind of do some of the same things, um, you know, you could switch up a lot of things defensively. And um, so, uh, you know, really fortunate that, that we got a couple guys back there that, that are able to kind of move around and, you know, and they're smart enough to, to be able to do it, you know, in game. Uh, the Bills and Patriots are playing on Saturday. Uh, yeah, I don't know when you guys are traveling. You might be traveling a little bit during that, but uh, is that a game you plan on sitting down, knowing that that's one that's important for where your playoff future uh, is? Do you plan on watching that game? Yeah, I mean, most likely we'll probably watch it. I mean, I know I'll probably watch it. Um, obviously, I know it's some implications, you know, with the, with the seeding or whatnot, but I think at the end of the day, you know, we'll probably play, you know, one of those two teams in the playoffs. So, uh, even from that, you know, you still, I feel like you still have to just get some eyes on them when they're playing. Sorry, I know you've been asked this probably a couple of weeks ago, but where this defense is at right now, what is the actual identity of the defense? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, you know, I, I, in my mind, I feel like we're, you know, we're still chasing improvement. Um, you know, obviously we didn't start the season the way we wanted to. I um, feel like now we're kind of setting a standard, you know, for ourselves. Um, but, you know, I think, Overall, you know, we're, we're aggressive defense, uh, you know, we get in your face and then we can mix things up as well. I think we had the personnel to do that. And so, uh, you know, I think we're excited about where we're at right now, where, we, where we're going forward. Um, we feel like at the end of the day, it's going to come down to us. And um, I think we'll be more than ready for that.